It's a shock to WW fans all over the world. Maybe it really shouldn't be, considering what you give. Obviously, Shawn Michaels, what you bring to the World Wrestling Federation has taken its toll on you, specifically your knee. And as you are facing a knee operation, I wonder if you would share with millions of your fans all over the world what's going through your head. Well, it seems uh, like we've done this before. And uh, this time, unfortunately for me, it's uh, much more serious than it was last time. Uh, I, I've never had um, a doctor look me in the face and say uh, that I may never be able to wrestle again. And I was, uh, I was told that the other day, of course, you know, I, it's not something that I believe, um, but the fact is it's something that I have to deal with. Time has, has taken its toll on, on my body, and... I know you're just as disappointed, more so than anyone else, that you are not defending the championship against Psycho Sid, or for that matter, whomever would have been stacked up against you. And no one has taken on more challengers. No one in the history who's ever won this championship belt has ever had the schedule, has ever had to endure the kind of schedule that you have so readily taken upon yourself. Well, there's uh, one thing about me is that I can't do anything halfway. And I, you know, I come here and I hear the people and they chant, uh, Sid's name, or they chant Brett's name, and they chant a lot of people's name. And one thing is for sure, you're going to have all of that in the future. Um, and that's what I want for the World Wrestling Federation fans. In spite of um, what people may think about me, what I've always wanted for all these people is, is for them to have a good time and to enjoy themselves. I've always tried to be the one to provide it, whether it was on the good side or the bad side. Um, but was all, what was always most important to me was the performance, was the performance so that these people, each time they reached in their pocket and they paid to get a ticket, they didn't regret it because they knew that if they saw my name on the card, they could yell, they could come and they could cheer, and they could boo, and they could do whatever want they wanted, as long as they had a good time. Over the last couple months, uh, there's been a lot of talk of people uh, having bad attitudes and a lot revolving around this belt. Uh, all I know today is that one thing that's not gonna revolve around this belt for a long time is, is going to be Shawn Michaels. Uh, I don't know where I'm at right now. I have to, uh, I have to have everything checked. I may have, I may be beyond reconstructive knee surgery. I may or may not be able to fix it, but if I can't come back and perform at the level that I performed at before, I can't, I can't perform. Uh, I can't come out here and just go half-ass. I have to come out here and I have to romp and stomp and I have to get tossed around. I have to toss people around and I have to have fun. Uh, the schedule over the last year I took on because I didn't feel like I could say no. I wanted to do everything. I wanted to enjoy my life as a champion. I wanted to I wanted to ride in Lear Jets, and I wanted to ride in limousines, and I wanted to be on TV shows, and I wanted to do autograph sessions, and, and I got to do every bit of that. And if nothing else, I have all of that to take with me. But again, and I know right now we're in the middle of a time where 
Toughness is real big here in the World Wrestling Federation. And unfortunately, all I've got right now for you is a lot of sorrow, a lot of tears, and a lot of emotion. I don't have any toughness for anybody. Um, so I guess, you know, here you go. Here's your belt. And uh, what I'm going to do is go back home and see what's left for me, whether it be in this ring, whether it be out of this ring. I know that over uh, the last several months, I've lost a lot of things, and one of them has been my smile. And, and I know it doesn't mean a whole lot to everybody else, but it means a lot to me. So I have to go back and fix myself and take care of myself. And I have to go back and I have to find my smile because somewhere along the line, I lost it. And I don't care, really. I don't care if it's unpopular. I don't care if uh, people want to make fun of me because I'm an emotional guy. Um, but this is, this is all I've ever wanted to do. And uh, over the last year, I got to do it. And whether you like me or not, I just want to tell you that uh, Last year was the most wonderful year of my life, and uh, if I never do get to do it again, it'll be okay because I got to live one full year as being the number one guy in this business, and it was the single most greatest year of my life. And I have you to thank, and I have everybody here to thank, and it means a lot to me, and uh, I'm gonna go home now. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Shawn Michael!